Hello, welcome my sisters and brothers in Christ. It is good to be with you again uh, for an uh, episode of Coffee with Kevin. We have, uh, I believe, an exciting lesson that we kind of shared on, on this past Sunday. And we talked from Mark's Gospel, and we continue to be in Mark's Gospel. I think we'll deal with Mark's Gospel for the next seven weeks, even through our Lenten season. I think there are some spots in there where we might jump in and, and talk from the Gospel according to John. But because we're in year B of the lectionary, we deal with a different Gospel um, per se in, in each year. So this year it seems to be favoring Mark's Gospel. So we talked on Sunday from the topic, meeting others' needs. And so this whole idea that we draw from Mark was uh, Jesus and, and another character that we'll meet later on in this particular passage saw needs and they met them. And so it's, it's relaying to us this whole understanding that when we see a need, we meet that need whether it's a person in our community, whether it's a person in our church, whether it's a person in our family, uh, we have the ability to help people. And so this is what it's getting at. I started out by telling the story of Karen's parents who were always helping people. I, I've never met two people in my life that did not help folk. And this particular lesson, we pick it up in Mark chapter 1 and verse 29. And this is what it says. As soon as they left the synagogue, they went with James and John to the home of Simon, Simon and Andrew. So this is Peter's home. The next verse says, uh, Simon's mother-in-law, verse 30 says, Simon's mother-in-law was in the bed with a fever, and they immediately told Jesus about her. And so by now, these folk, the, the disciples, the apostles, Jesus' followers, have an understanding of Jesus and Jesus' ability to help people, right? To meet people's needs. So they tell Jesus, Jesus goes to uh, Peter's mother-in-law and he touches her. He grabs her by the hand and it says the fever left her and she began to wait on them. And so we see this, this playing out again. His mother-in-law, Peter's mother-in-law, saw a need and she began to meet that need. She began to wait on them. To I kind of get, I think from this, it's a, a meal that they were having uh, after their, their going to church, if you will. After coming out of the synagogue, she prepared a meal for them. And then it goes on to say that evening after sunset, the people brought all of these sick people to Jesus and he healed them. Again, there is Jesus giving us this example of meeting others' needs. We get to the end of this lesson in verse 35, and it says, Very early in the morning, Jesus went to a solitary place where he prayed. So we get two things from that really quick. We get the whole idea of Jesus prioritizing the need to pray, the need for us to get away, my sisters and brothers in Christ, and find some alone time with God and pray. And then the other is his need for uh, ministry, our need for, again, continuing to be uh, in, in ministry. So the next verse says, not only was he praying, but the people were looking for him. Simon Peter came to him and said, man, where you been? We've been looking for you. And Jesus's reply in verse 38, I love this. Jesus replied, let us go somewhere else to the nearby villages so I can preach there also. That is why I have come. And so he sums up this whole thing about meeting people's needs, about getting away and, and praying, talking to God, being in conversation with God, and making sure that we make ministry a priority. Amen? Meeting others' needs. I'll see you the next time. Peace and blessings.